hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching this. Today is going to be an organizational video, so if you enjoy just watching Clean With Me's organization hauls and just all things efficiency within your space, this is definitely going to be the video for you. It is going to be a super chill, and I wanted to start out by saying, my inventory space has been such a mess recently. In case you guys don't know, I do own a reselling business here online, primarily selling women's clothing and shoes on Poshmark and eBay, but also just recently, I have been doing print on demand mugs on Etsy. So now I feel like two of my worlds have collided into one space and it's just been really, really flipping messy. So with that said, I figured I would take you guys along in just really finding spaces for all of my things to store. So my process for shipping is so much easier. I just feel like every time I get a sale, whether that's from Poshmark and eBay or Etsy, I'm almost dreading looking for the item because everything is just, it's just too messy, too messy. And I am definitely a type A personality at heart, so I don't like it. I did purchase ugh, things from Amazon that I am hoping will help out in this little process of cleaning up my space. And the first item I did already open and then I decided, you know what? I should do an unboxing with you guys because I don't know, I just like filming unboxings. Anyways, I wanted to show you this even though I did already open it because I thought it was so useful. So this is essentially a little storage piece for hangers. If you didn't know, I do have a combination between a racks system and also a bins system for my Poshmark and eBay business. But because I have been in the transition of consolidating my inventory, I have taken away some of my racks. Don't worry, they are just stored in my garage for now in case I decide to become a volume seller again. And of course, I will show you in action what exactly I'm talking about when we get to cleaning. But uh, let's open the next item together, shall we? These words, right? here just excite me in general. You know you're an adult when you get excited about the word acrylic. Also, obviously, I will have everything linked down below in case you are curious as to more details about each of these products. So we have our extra large organizer here. Oh, I know what this is for. Okay. So this was supposed to be for books, I think. But what I want to do with these is I think I wanna put all of my pre-made mug design sheets in it. Every time I do get a sale on Etsy, I always have to print out the specific design that obviously sold, but it would be really nice to just have a stack on hand. But if you don't have a passion project mug business like me, this could also be used for filing. This is obviously great for books, binders, and so much more, and I will say it is quite sturdy so I'm very happy about it. It's not like that cheapy acrylic plastic. I don't really know how to describe it but let's just say I'm happy so far. You'll uh, definitely see a theme with some of these items because some of them are acrylic however this one is not. Let me tell you my idea for this. So I think this was supposed to be used for maybe spices or storage within your kitchen cabinet. But what I'm thinking is I am going to store more mugs on it on my shelves already. So it could almost be like a two layered system and it does come with two of them. My only concern is I'm not sure if it's tall enough for a mug to fit under. Okay, and last but not least, I think this is the next acrylic item. This looks probably very similar to the bigger one we had. What I'm thinking that I'm going to do with this is I do have notebooks and agendas and also stickers for my Etsy business that I would like to just organize into one place so I know exactly where it is. Again, this is just a really nice 
thick material, which I'm very happy about. Okay, and now that I made more of a mess for myself, I guess the next order of business is uh, to get organizing and to get cleaning. Okay, so I would be lying if I said this is the same exact day from that last clip that you saw. It is definitely not. It's actually... <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. It's actually like a week later and my uh, space still looks as atrocious as I mentioned probably in that last clip. Why didn't I film after that last clip? I honestly don't know because it's a week later. I probably ended up getting a phone call. I probably ended up getting distracted. I don't know, but we are here now. We are going to clean up this area that you probably can't see that is on the floor. All right, let me give you a tour of my very messy inventory space. All right, so here we go with the first room that we're gonna be cleaning up today. And as you can see, we have a lot of things on the floor. And yes, there's that. All right, so let me tell you the plan of what I have for this room other than obviously cleaning it. I just feel like I haven't really utilized these shelves to the best of my ability and really want to use them for my Etsy business. I also have these shelves here that I feel like could be useful as well. So I'm thinking that I am going to utilize some of the organizers that I showed you in the last clip and I don't know, organize them somehow, some way. First step is removing everything off the shelves so you're able to see your fresh space and then reorganize everything. I almost feel like I'm doing a closet clean out, but with my inventory. Okay, everything is officially off the shelves and I've officially created more of a mess on my floor. As I mentioned, this is the first room that we are organizing today. We do have another one after this and then also my office space. You'll see, but let's just do a little bit of montage. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. I figured I would explain the next shelf before I actually do it because it is something that I did decide to change early on within my Etsy shop, but it also is kind of a type, so don't judge me. So within this box, we have 24 mugs and this I ended up purchasing at the way beginning of my Etsy journey. I really, really like the boxes that these mugs ended up coming in. I don't know if you're gonna be able to completely tell, but there is a smooth texture to it and it just feels very quality however these are the mugs that this particular box came with as you can see it is just your standard 15 ounce mug this one doesn't have a lip or anything of that nature it is just a plain mug now this box I ended up getting from another vendor because I wanted to try out someone different and these were actually a little bit cheaper to bring down my cost of goods but the mugs are a little bit different but as you can tell already that some of these boxes just aren't as quality I guess as the other ones but the mug itself is better quality okay I just opened up one so here is the mug and as you can see it has this nice design to it it just feels like thicker quality and overall I just really liked this one better maybe that will give you a better view of just the difference in design of the two mugs but this is the one that I am keeping. And so your next question may be, what are you going to do with the mugs that you're not listing? And don't worry, I will be putting them to great use because I'm gonna use them as samples or just to practice designs on with my heat press so I don't have to utilize the mugs that I actually wanna list. Now, I don't have a lot of these. I think I have maybe around 40. And I figured if any of my friends or family wanted to make mugs of their own, obviously I'm not gonna charge them. So I figured I would let them use these mugs because I, I have 40 of them, I might as well, right? So what I'm thinking about doing, because I do want to utilize the nicer boxes, which are these, I'm going to put my label on the nice box so I have some ready to go when I do make a sale and store them with the new mug. So hopefully that all made sense. The good news is that now that I have all of these boxes laying around my room, 
I always have a tripod, so that's what you guys are sitting on. All right, <laughs> let's get to it. It looks so good. I am beyond excited about this. But look at the flippin' mess I just made. Yeah, we we still have our work cut out for us. So hear me out, I have this foliage. I don't entirely know what it is called, but I ended up getting this from Timu. I did a haul and I actually use these for flat lays and they actually are really, really useful and I like them a lot. But I thought instead of putting them in a bag that maybe it would look nice in a vase, 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 however you say it. It almost looks like a piece of decor and I think it's perfect because you can just grab and go and I don't know, it just looks very aesthetic. So good thinking, Lindsay. This side of the room, organized. This side, not so much. Let's get ready for the after. I am gonna give you a quick tour in case you are an Etsy or Poshmark or eBay seller. So in case it isn't obvious to you, I have all of my quarterly bins that I keep all of my receipts and expenses in. I did end up using this acrylic organizer. I just print these labels on my normal printer. And here is an example of one of the labels that I do have. I guess this one is from Avery. I also have some of these feedback sheets that I cut out and put in all of my Etsy boxes. Again, still some labels and some leftover sheets for that. In this organizer right here is all of my mug sublimation papers. And I'm thinking that I may print out some of my most popular designs and just have them organized so I don't have to continuously print them. However, I do have a question and if you do sublimation, definitely answer this for me. If I print out some of my designs and then have them stored here, does that dry out? I'm very curious to know and something I do have to look up. But regardless, I definitely think that I can use this organizer so definitely keeping that as well. All of these mugs are actually ones that I used for samples and you may be wondering why I'm keeping them but I think they're really good for creating content for reels or shorts. They're just really good to have if I want to take any Instagram pictures with them. So I do have samples of not all of my mug designs but the majority of them. On the next shelf I have easy to go boxes that have 
my label already on them and also the correct mug with the correct box. So that is definitely going to be nice when I do get an order. And last but not least, I have these bubble poly mailers that I actually put over these boxes when packing. And then I have some packing peanuts that I can bring to my shipping table. And it's just so much easier than carrying the big bin that is uh, located over there. I know I've already mentioned the foliage and this is my sublimation printer. This is the only item that I don't know what I'm gonna do with. I don't think I'm gonna leave it there, but I am thinking about putting some sample mugs on there just to make it look nice. I have some extra boxes ready to go that actually don't have my store label on them, but at least they're stored in here. These are all of the boxes that I ship all of my mugs in, and then I have some extra boxes as well. And these poly mailers are actually for Poshmark and eBay, but I'm just going to have them stored in here because I ordered for some reason like a thousand of them, and I'm still going through them. Speaking of Poshmark and eBay, these are some of my shipping supplies for my reselling business. Inside here is actually a comforter because we we actually do use this as a guest room. We usually have a blow up mattress on the rug when someone decides to uh, visit us. And then over here, we have some extra packing peanuts. We have some extra bubble mailers and some more boxes over here. Over here is where I take my Poshmark pictures now, and these are just for my own personal hats, but I do have some of my measuring tapes hung up when, you know, I need to uh, measure out things. I have my ring light hung up for YouTube videos, and this is the marble flat lay that I use that I actually Velcroed to the wall to have easy access to, and this has been a lifesaver especially for my mugs. All right, are we uh, ready for the next room? First of all, some of this stuff is actually things that we have been holding on to for our vacation. So that's what this mess is. Then we have more of a mug mess. And the reason why these clothes are not in bins is because I'm actually using some of these bins for a garage sale that my friend and I are having. So <laughs> right now those bins are actually in her garage, which is why there is some sort of clothing mess over here. And then and other than that, oh yeah, that's because I don't have another bin, which I'll probably end up putting in here. So yeah, this this room's actually not as bad as you think. But let me just say, I did already clearly use this this past week, and I flip in love these for my extra hangers. So highly recommend. All right, let's uh, get started with cleaning this. Houdini, were you gonna come in the room? Huh? <laughs> What's up, mister? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> And the floor is officially clean. I told you that was uh, not too bad. So here we have my first rack for all of my Poshmark goodies. And also I have a lot of things stored now in bins as well. But obviously I still do have a little bit of a mess here because like I said, I'm missing some of my bins. And then I also have some stored inventory here, mostly jackets and some dresses as well. I have some shoes as you can see. And in case you're wondering if this is all of my Poshmark inventory, it's actually not because I now do store some of my inventory in my bedroom, but we're going to save that task for another day. Anyways, this is uh, everything. It looks good. Oh my gosh, I'm just so happy I can see the floor. And now I am officially wiped. I am not organizing anything for at least a couple of days. Hopefully it never gets like that again. Hopefully this motivated you to uh, clean up your inventory space or maybe just a random room in your house, definitely let me know if you decide to clean after this. I'd be super interested to know which room in your house is the messiest because you, you saw my two. Anyways, with that said, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out. It does really help out my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!